Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be going over 2x Sacreds starting tomorrow and getting you caught up with all the offers, events, tournaments, and everything you need to know going on in game right now. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so we are hearing behind the scenes a few hours before the post went live in game, and I'm just now getting to my computer, but there is a global summoning boost coming starting tomorrow. Doubling your chances of receiving legendary champions from sacred shards. Now, this is a little bit crazy. Uh, Plarium is cranking out these 2x events in sooner succession than I've ever seen them do before. Uh, the, the X2, the X2 uh, Ancients came like five or six weeks early. And now the uh, I was expecting the 2x Sacreds to be coming like uh one to three weeks from now and, and it's coming tomorrow just kind of out of nowhere so definitely interesting i don't know what that means i don't know if it means uh they're falling behind on stuff and they really want to uh you know put stuff out there to keep people satisfied and uh and, and kind of keep the player base engaged now I, I definitely have a lot of sacreds so i am excited it's happening tomorrow i was getting a little antsy to pull these um i've, I've honestly only bought like probably six or seven of these uh most of these have come maybe not even that many i don't know i lose track but i really haven't bought that many of them most of them have come from uh getting those maxed out nightmare and ultra chests every day being in a good clan that kind of works together and downs the clan boss on a consistent basis and uh i think a couple of them from faction wars and, and random rewards like that and stuff so i'm uh, definitely excited for the 2x sacreds and as always for these events guys if you want to uh you know come hang out live on stream Send me your information on Discord, I will get you in the queue, and I will summon your shards live on stream, react to them, and we can all kind of hang out and pull shards. Uh, you know, link is down below in, in the vid description to my stream. Definitely come hang out, it's always fun to kind of pull shards on my account with all of you, and then pull your shards so we can all kind of summon champions together. And I do want to make sure and mention some of you might be new to raid, new to the channel. Uh, you, you, and, uh, the big question is, is it worth it? Should I do it? The answer in these 2x events is basically always going to be yes, it's worth it. So when this goes live, pull all your sacreds. Do not take my video as it going live. Uh, usually, the aesthetic of the portal will change. You can see right now, it's just the typical kind of you know blue portal in the game it should have like a yellow golden beam shooting up out of it uh indicating the same color as these sacreds it should be like an orangish yellow beam shooting up into the sky and you also want to make sure you're clicking the eye and you should see sacred legendaries at 12 percent instead of six if it's at six do not pull your shards don't do it just because you saw this video it's not live yet uh you want to make sure uh this says 12 and that's when you're going to pull your shards you want to pull every sacred you have definitely because sometimes these can be three months in between so it's definitely the best time to pull your shards and you're going to want to participate i will make sure and break down these sacred offers for you when they come through to see if they're worth it see if there's anything you know if you are the type of person to spend money i'll do my best to let you know if the offers are worth kind of going after or if they're just too expensive so let's back out and pull up what's going on in game so right now we've got a dragon tournament which is always a good idea to participate in dragon is arguably the best dungeon in the game to grind uh what i'm gonna do with this event is gosh like i'm probably just gonna get the book and nope out um what i like to do in tournaments is see if i'm up against uh you know so the max is three thousand. If I see people going significantly above that, I just let it go. Uh, I'm not going to spend $100 trying to get in a whale war match for one relentless set. I'm just not going to do it. So uh, I, I try to manage my resources you know, properly and, and efficiently and uh, getting into some whale war for, for one set of gear where I'm probably going to keep one piece and, and sell the rest just is not worth it. So uh, this is going to be an event. I, I'm not going to get into a war and try to get first place. I'm probably just going to get the book and nope out. Uh, 3,000 points for a five-star chicken on a dungeon that's very important to grind is not necessarily a bad idea, but I'm just going to get my book. The book you for sure want to get. If it's realistic for you to get the book, that is definitely the priority. Epic and legendary books are very hard to get. It's I would say it's like the number one complaint I, see, I hear on my stream and in comment sections and stuff is, how do I get more books? Will you, where can I farm books? And that's the first question that new players have. Everybody's always trying to get books and understandably so. Uh, so definitely try Try to get the book and uh the chicken is debatable and kind of assess your group see if it makes sense to go after the relentless if it doesn't don't feel bad just let it go there will be another tournament down the road they do these things pretty consistently 
But while we're here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard uh, and, and global and see what it's shaking up to look like. So uh, typically a good metric to use in terms of being able to compute how many energy these people have spent is uh, you average about 17 to 18 points per run in Dragon 20, uh, depending on your RNG and what artifacts are dropping and stuff. It's somewhere between 17 and 18 points per run. Uh, and the runs cost 16 energy. So typically they have spent just a little bit less energy than their points. So like this leader at 52,300 has probably spent about 45 to 48,000 energy somewhere in there uh it just gives you an idea of the the amounts of energy and amount of runs you would need to do to uh to go ahead and get that one chicken which is just hilarious to me they used to at least give away a legendary book uh but now it's just <laughs> one chicken for winning the global leaderboard which i think is so hilarious but uh yeah i don't i it sounds like it seems like they really save the good rewards for the summoning boosts, uh, or for the summon rushes, that's when they give away, like, the Sir Nicholas and the legendary champions and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and back out, and it looks like they also have an Ice Golem tournament starting tomorrow. Now, the Ice Golem is typically the lowest priority tournament, so, you know, we'll, we'll assess the situation when it comes out. If there's an epic or legendary book to grab, I will do that. If there's not, I probably won't even participate. Uh, the, the Golem turn the Golem needs uh, a little bit of love in terms of like if they add a new set to the game that's pretty decent i would put it in the golem because the golem's already kind of the lowest priority um but but yeah i mean the the golem honestly isn't that bad for beginner to 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 mid players because it drops very generally useful sets uh like crit rate it's hard to get good crit rate when you're a new player so that set's actually pretty good uh and then hp and defense and reflex can all be usable sets uh so it's not like it's trash it's just not as good as the other the dungeons in my opinion so typically it's the least grinded and uh my recommendation is if there's a book to grab try to do it if there's not you, you might honestly just think about letting it, that one go and then in terms of events oh we've got offers popping up here in terms of events we've got obviously a summon rush coinciding with the 2x sacreds and you can use this as basically a countdown so uh, this typically coincides with boom the exact start of the 2x shards so in 14 hours and 32 minutes at the point of me recording this video is when it's going to go live i don't know when you're watching this obviously but like i said earlier make sure you you check the uh the information the beam aesthetic on the portal and the eye to see that sacreds are 12 percent instead of six uh dungeon divers we've got four more days it looks like uh it's going to be difficult but doable and uh, I, I would keep an eye on this especially since we have dragon and golem and, and events live as well you can kind of double dip but uh uh, you know, don't don't slaughter yourself trying to uh, trying to make this happen. But just I, I would recommend getting what you can because the last three rewards are pretty worth it in terms of just ancillary stuff on top of grinding your dungeons. And then we've got Arena Assault. So it looks like this one is fairly new, and uh, you can get 250 a day. You can max this out in one day if you want. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, th this should be doable for most of the end game players. Uh, some of you early to mid game players may struggle when you're in bronze or, or silver and stuff. But it, for those of you that are in kind of gold three, gold four, this should be something you can attain. And I would definitely pay attention to this and kind of make sure you're getting the epic book. I, like I said before, it's always good to get those books whenever you can. And then let's go ahead and pop up the offers in game here. Back me out. Okay, it's really hitting you with the pop ups here. So uh, let's pull the sheet up and let's do this so special skill pack uh these offers are semi-common i'll plug in the first one I, I think i know the lay for the land on these although that looks a little bit different the silver looks different to me for some reason was it always 3.25 uh the gems and then seven and seven we've got seven seven yeah so they're keeping this one at about a 1.5 that seems about right um I typically I don't like these uh very much unless you're like a super whale i mean obviously if you're someone who spends you know a hundreds of dollars a month the the one on the right here is a little bit better because you get legendary books and stuff um the the one on the left i don't think is that great for for anybody um unless you're kind of a newer player who really likes to spend a lot of money on raid then the one on the left isn't bad but if you're trying to be a smart spender neither one of these are a recommendation from me uh the mini mix pack we already know the drill on that nothing to really go over and then faction accessories twenty dollars for five star epic on one faction and uh in terms of guaranteed value what are we getting here so we're getting uh 300 and that's energy and then gems 
Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Lost my bearings for a second. So we're only getting about 4 or $5. Well, I guess the silver. Okay, I, I got to make sure and put that in. Don't, don't leave out the silver. All right, so we're getting $5 worth of guaranteed value here. And... Uh, so is the are those three pieces of gear worth fifteen dollars? No, I would much rather have fifteen energy refills to run the spider with for sure. That's not even close. So uh, this one's going to be a hard no from me. And uh, really, all of these aren't going to be getting bought by me if you're asking my opinion. So we'll have to wait, especially with a two X sacred starting tomorrow. I want to hold off my budget and kind of see if there's going to be a good sacred offer coming through. Like if I can get three sacreds for a decent price and pop them during the event or something, we'll, we'll have to stay tuned and kind of see what the offers are tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be an exciting time coming up already. We just had 2X Ancients and now we're going right into 2X Voids. So pretty unprecedented for Polarium to do them this close to each other. So that's fun in my opinion. Uh, don't know if it means they're kind of trying to hold off and, and keep us satisfied until, uh, you know, this last last few weeks until patch 1.15 is coming but uh yeah like i said earlier uh, the, the link to my stream is down in the video description come hang out tomorrow when i'm going to be yanking shards for viewers and for my main account during the 2x sacreds it'll be a lot of fun and i hope to see you there so yeah as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day stay safe out there peace